I kept my promise. In recent months, our nation and the world has been hit by the once-in-a-century pandemic that China allowed to spread around the globe. They could have stopped it, but they allowed it to come out. In a new term as president, we will again build the greatest economy in history, quickly returning to full employment, soaring incomes, and record prosperity. My fellow Americans, tonight, with a heart full of gratitude and boundless optimism, I profoundly accept this nomination for President of the United States. Joe Biden may claim he is an ally of the light, but when it comes to his agenda, Biden wants to keep us completely in the dark. For 47 years, Joe Biden took the donations of blue-collar workers, gave them hugs and even kisses. <laughs> Biden is weak. He takes his marching orders from liberal hypocrites who drive their cities into the ground while fleeing far from the scene of the wreckage. The goal of cancel culture is to make decent Americans live in fear of being fired, expelled, shamed, humiliated, and driven from society as we know it. The far left wants to coerce you into saying what you know to be false and scare you out of saying what you know to be true. Americans build their future. We don't tear down our past. Biden is a Trojan horse for socialism. If Joe Biden doesn't have the strength to stand up to wild-eyed Marxists like Bernie Sanders and his fellow radicals, and there are many, there are many, many, we see them all the time, it's incredible, actually, then how is he ever going to stand up for you? He's not. The fact is, I'm here. What's the name of that building? But I'll say it differently. The fact is, we're here, and they're not. And we will make America greater than ever before. I am very, very proud to be the nominee of the Republican Party. I love you all. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you very much.